Everybody knows about safe isolation, but here at Learn Electrics, we've often been asked to explain why we follow a set procedure and what is it. In this video, we will concentrate just on understanding what is safe isolation, and we will assume that you can use a test meter or voltage tester for this session. Safe isolation is the removal of all electrical energy from the circuit being isolated. This can include locking off the circuit so that it is not accidentally re-energised during your work. We do it to protect ourselves, you and me, from getting an electric shock. Understand what follows and you will be confident in safely isolating circuits and working on both single phase and three phase supplies. First, let's quickly look at what the supply to the building is actually doing in electrical terms. We have our supply transformer somewhere down the street and for most properties this will be a live, a neutral and an earth. Some purists will say that we should call them phase, neutral and CPC but test equipment will be marked as live, neutral and earth so that is what we will call it for this video. The supply transformer in this case gives us 230 volts on the live whilst the neutral and earth are both zero volts and this will make sense as we build up the picture. With the switch in the closed or on position, voltage 230 volts can pass through the circuit. Open the switch and zero volts enters the property. But be aware that 230 volts is still present on the supply side of the switch. It is only the output side that is zero. This means that if you turn the main switch off in the consumer unit, one half of the main switch is still energised. Most main switches are double pole. They are linked together so that they switch off both live and neutral at the same time. And this is a requirement in all domestic properties. But why bother switching neutral if it is zero volts? Let's go back to a single pole main switch, just switching the live terminal. With the main switch closed, 230 volts can flow through the circuit, through the closed light switch and through the lamp. The lamp is on. Open the light switch and the lamp goes off. On the lamp side of the light switch, the voltage is zero volts. On the supply side of the light switch, there is still 230 volts. It would be just the same if the main switch opened. The lamp would be off as zero volts is present at the lamp. All that circuit is dead, but the supply side of the main switch remains energised. Now, suppose the installation has been wired incorrectly. If live and neutral have been swapped over and it does happen, then we have a situation called reverse polarity. Live is fed through the neutral terminals and neutral through the live terminals. But notice, with the switches closed and in the on position, current flows and the lamps light up. The customer will have no idea that there is reverse polarity in the house. The lights work, the kettle works, the vacuum cleaner works and the DIY electric drill still goes round the correct way. Open a switch and what happens? The light goes out. Correct. But this time the wiring in the house remains energised at 230 volts. The neutral is now the live and because it is unswitched it cannot stop voltage from entering the circuit. Even with the light switch off, touch a terminal in the lamp holder and the customer will get an electric shock. And the same situation is present if the main switch is opened. All the house is live even though nothing is working. The main switch should be stopping electricity from entering the house. Instead, it is stopping it from leaving the property. A totally different and very unsafe situation. But look, if we make the main switch a double pole device, both contacts open. Even if the property has reverse polarity, when the main switch is opened, all voltage in the house is zero volts. However, most times we will be isolating just at the circuit breaker, a single pole device. When carrying out a safe isolation, it is therefore very important that we check all combinations of connections. If we only measured live to neutral, it would not tell us the full story. It would not guarantee safety if the circuit was reverse wired. Look at this table. 
If we isolated the light circuit at the MCB and checked only the live to neutral voltage, we would find that the voltage was zero volts, whether the circuit was correctly wired or reverse wired. Test further. The live to earth is zero also, and that seems correct. But the voltage between neutral and earth is 230 volts. This is the danger. Relying on just a live to neutral check when isolating is not enough. We can look now at the safe isolation tests and what it is that we are testing. Make sure that you have the correct equipment to test and isolate properly. Always prove that your voltage tester is functioning correctly. This can be done by testing on a known 230 volt source such as the incoming supply terminals at the main switch. We have already said that the supply side will always be energised. Or we can use a proving unit to check the voltage indicator. Whichever method you choose is fine so long as the check is carried out. There are established procedures for safe isolation that we should follow and the method shown here is easy to apply. Seek permission from the customer to turn off the power. They may want to turn off the computer or washing machine before you start. Identify the circuit to be isolated. Turn the MCB off. Did the lights go off? If that is the circuit that you're about to work on, then that is correct. Lock off the circuit and apply a warning label. Prove the test equipment is functioning correctly. Carry out the safe isolation checks correctly and prove the circuit is dead. Reprove the test equipment. This is very important and a definite fail if you do not do this during an assessment. And then begin the work activity. Always retest if you've been away from the work area for any reason. You don't know what anyone else has done in your absence. We can look first at safe isolation at the consumer unit by isolating the circuit breaker for a circuit. Here we are about to safely isolate the 6 amp breaker on the left side of the consumer unit. With the MCB on and the light switch on, the lamp should be lit. Now, turn the circuit breaker, the MCB, off. The lamp should go off. If it does, we have chosen the correct circuit breaker. Now, lock off the MCB. Attach a label so that others know who has locked it off and carry out a voltage test between the load side, the output side of the MCB, and the earth bar. Now a voltage test between the MCB live, the load terminal and the neutral bar. If this is a split load board, then make sure that you are testing to the correct neutral bar as each RCD will have its own neutral. And finally, test neutral to earth. We are looking for zero volts to be shown in each of the three tests. Anything else is a problem. Check your circuit identification and locking off if you need to and retest. Until all three combinations read zero volt, then you are not properly isolated from the electricity. How should we do these tests? Work to a system, a pattern, so that you don't miss any step out. It's easy with single phase, life to earth, life to neutral, and then neutral to earth. Three phase needs you to be a little stricter with yourself. I always begin with one probe on the earth bar and then test all combinations to earth as shown in row number one. If all show zero, then we can forget about the earth now. Row two, one probe on neutral and check all combinations of live conductors. All good, forget about neutral. Now, row three, check L1 to L2 and L1 to L3, and then forget about L1. All that remains now is row four, checking L2 to L3. Job done. If we follow a set pattern, rather than a random approach, we can always be certain that we have tested it properly. We may want to prove that a certain socket has been isolated. Yes, we may have isolated it at the board, but you may want to double check. I prefer to use a plug top socket tester or breakout plug. This allows me to make connections with my test meter before removing the socket cover. If the circuit is energised, in other words powered up, what should we expect to see for a good healthy circuit? With the meter plugged into the live and earth, we should have 230 volts. Move the meter connections to live and neutral 
and we should read 230 volts again. Between neutral and earth now, we should read nothing, zero volts. Now, safely isolate the circuit at the MCB and lock it off. We are now testing for dead. We have shown here, side by side, the results for a good circuit on the left and for a reverse wired circuit on the right. You can see that both show zero volts between live and neutral. Between live and earth shows zero volts in both cases. But when we test neutral to earth, the reverse wired circuit shows 230 volts and not zero volts. To work on this faulty circuit right now would be dangerous, possibly fatal. And how would we check for safe isolation at a ceiling rose? Very simply, it is no different to the other single phase tests. After locking off and isolating, check with your voltage indicator between live and earth then between live and neutral, and finally between neutral to earth. If they all read zero volts, that has proved safe isolation. A quick reminder, electricity is dangerous. Treat it with respect, and if you are not sure, stop and ask. It will always be you that will find out first that the circuit is still switched on when you put your hands inside the consumer unit. Always carry out safe isolation and lock off. You can apply the methods here for all types of circuits. As we said, if in doubt, stop, think about it and retest. Testing twice is better than receiving an electric shock once. Well, that's it. We hope that you've enjoyed this video and that you have learnt a little more. Please click on subscribe below to have access to all of our videos and to be sure of not missing our next Tech Tips video. Subscribing also helps us too and we do appreciate this. Typing in Learn Electrics, or one word, into the YouTube search bar will also give you access to all of our videos at any time. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you again very soon.